Hey Thunkers, in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use a new component, the loading icon. So what is the loading icon? Let's go to the documentation to check it out, docs.thunkable.com slash loading icon. So the loading icon looks like this, this little swirly circle. Some may refer to it as the spinning wheel of death, but it's really for activities that take more than a few seconds. So loading icons can be super helpful to tell your users that an activity has happened or is happening in the background, like if you're loading data or retrieving data. So while this is going on, your users will see this little loading icon and they'll know that it's coming. A few new things you might notice, the layout of the Thunkable platform has changed a little bit. So now we have this search bar. So if we wanna search for components, we can just type in loading icon and here we go, drag and drop it right into the screen. That's pretty awesome. Uh, we can also do some other things. Uh, we have this drag and drag up bar and drag down bar. So if you have a lot of different components in and you need to change the height of this, then you can do that by clicking right here and dragging and dropping. Let's talk about this loading icon. Um, what we're gonna do in this app is we're gonna have a button. When you click the button, it's going to call the loading icon to start swirling. So I'm just gonna drag and drop a button into the screen and I'm just gonna flip these over here. And the button, we're gonna make the background color be slightly different so it's easier to see. And I always like to make my buttons round, so I'm gonna change the border radius to 100. Now we have a round button and a loading icon. The last thing we're gonna do before going into the blocks is just clicking this visible sign for the loading icon. So there, it's disappeared. Let's go to the blocks. When we click on the button, so when button one, click, do, we're going to call the loading icon to become visible. So set loading icon visible to true. Next, we're going to copy and paste these blocks a few times. And we're gonna set loading icon height to be, actually let's do size, to be large. Uh, if you want it to be really big, you can also set the height to be a larger number. And we're going to set the loading icon color to be red. So it should look like this now. When you click the button, you're gonna see this giant red loading icon appear. It's gonna let your users know that something is happening. They're waiting for the next thing. So what could they be waiting for? Uh, a pretty good example is let's say you have a spreadsheet in your app and the spreadsheet needs to call data and maybe that takes a few seconds. So what you can do is here, let's add a spreadsheet to the app. You can say when the button is pushed, we're going to call the loading icon make the visible true, set the size to large, set the color to red, and then we're going to call the spreadsheet to get cell. So this is all gonna happen before the spreadsheet is called, just to let your users know some data is coming. And then afterwards, the last thing that we wanna do is tell the loading icon to not be visible anymore. So then they just, your users will just see the data that is being called. So this is how you create a loading icon uh, app or how do you use the loading icon in your app. If you have any other questions, please let us know in the YouTube comment section down below. We're going to be releasing a whole new bunch of components starting now going on through the summer. We look forward to seeing what you think. And again, thanks for thunking.